Ladies and gentlemen, we're here with Andrea Hageman, first year coach, Burlington, Badger, Wilmot, Union Grove, Catholic Central. They're adding a new name every no every Catholic week. <laughs> What's that? No Catholic Central this year. No Catholic Central this year. Uh, Andrea is a long time uh, mentee of mentor Diane Biajitsky, who is pretty much the patron saint of gymnastics in the city of Burlington, <laughs> owner of Lakes Area Gymnastics. So, how you doing, Andrea, after uh, tonight's sectional? Doing good. We, uh, we, we're not where we wish we were. Um, we're not sending anyone to state, but overall, our season was way more than what we ever expected. The girls realize that. Okay. They're disappointed in what happened. You know, a few of them that were hoping to really advance, but when they look at the season as a whole, they're, they're happy. They're good with it. Um, just you personally, what's going through your mind? Uh, first year ever as a varsity head coach after a long time being assistant. Was it everything you dreamed of? It was a lot more than I ever dreamed of. <laughs> um, it was crazy. The stress of day-to-day -day practices, of getting everything prepared, dealing with the parents, the fundraisers, the little things here and there that I never dreamed of. Ever. Right. You know, learning to adjust to the girls, like figuring out what they need, what works, what doesn't work. Yeah. Assistant, I just followed Diane. It was, we're here, we're doing this, and that's what we did. But it was great. Um, like I said, we were we were the underdogs this year. We were in a complete rebuilding year. Yeah. So to come out and have to get that 140 and to get you know second at Madison Memorial, and one conference again for the second straight year, and we had multiple conference champions. It's like those girls worked their butt off every day at practice to make yeah. a game for themselves. Like they were no longer just the fill-ins for Bailey and Molly in general. They were their okay. Own, they were their own leaders, so it was cool to see them grow. And what do you hope is the silver lining for this next year? I talked to the girls uh, a little bit, Andrea, and uh, a couple are like, we're going to win state next year. I mean, that that's the attitude you probably want, right? That's, yeah. They were over there after our last event was done, and they were first reflecting on the meet, and then they were making goals that they're going to get in the offseason. You know, one girl's saying, what, should I, what skill should I do next year, front full or front lay? And so they have a lot of hopes for themselves right now, which I just hope that that determination turns into hard work for the offseason and they come back next year ready to go. Thanks, Andrea. I appreciate it, and uh, best of luck in the future. Thank you.